Right, so pain, it's not always where it's coming from. Now this is fairly obvious when you think about certain things. So for example, when you're having a heart attack, it's uh, common to get pain up into your face, into your shoulder, into your arm, as well as your chest. It, if it's bad enough, it can even move into the other arm. So already this highlights the problem is of the heart, which is obviously here, and yet you're getting pain up here and down there. So it highlights that pain travels, and the more severe that pain is, the further it tends to travel. Now this is the same with a musculoskeletal disorder, which is obviously what physios treat. So if, for example, you've got shoulder pain, you would think, mm, it's a good chance that's shoulder problem. However, not necessarily. I've seen it many times over, and it's a very common cause of misdiagnosis, just thinking to inside the box. Only the other week, I saw a lady who'd had surgery on the shoulder. Uh, they'd seen the problem that they did the surgery on on the scan. So of course you like shoulder pain, pain on shoulder movement, restricted shoulder movements, uh, scan being done on the shoulder. Ah, it's obvious it's gotta be that. Now she'd had physio before the scan and on the shoulder as well, and it wasn't improving things. Had the scan done, saw the problem on the scan, decided to go down the surgical route. Surgeon did the, did the surgery, came to see me. Obviously at this point, I didn't think anything other than shoulder, so I had the blinkers on a little bit and um, she just wasn't really responding as we would have expected. She went back to see the consultant. The consultant was also scratching his head. He thought, I'm gonna stick a steroid injection into it. So I'd sat back in the chair having heard this from the patient and thought, you know what? I think I'm gonna look at you from scratch. Forget you've had so shoulder surgery and it's a shoulder problem therefore. Let's just imagine you've walked in the door, no surgery, you're just getting shoulder pain. I'd consider all the options. So one of the options is the neck. So lo and behold, we look at the neck. I do a treatment and technique on the neck. Shoulder pain vanishes. Shoulder movement comes back to normal. Instantly after about two rounds of doing this treatment. Bang, it's the neck, not the shoulder. It's referred to the shoulder and the scan has shown something which is called an incidental finding. And incidental findings are really common. I mean, a good example is they did a study on 20 year olds on their knees. They scanned their knees. None of them have got any pain whatsoever. And they found out of 45 knees, they found that 44 had a cartilage tear. None of them have pain, however. So this is the thing. If you scan someone, even if the pain isn't coming from that area, there's a likelihood you may well find something on the scan. And if that problem isn't really coming from that, you're gonna be led down the garden path. Another patient just today, pain in the foot, runner, what do you think? Plantar fasciitis, sole of the foot. But it didn't quite make sense. Wasn't getting first step pain and there were lots of other things. It was constant pain, even though she's not been running for weeks. Lo and behold, we have a look, look at her. Where's it coming from? It's coming from the back. She's got a back issue. Now it's not a trap nerve in this case. It was more down to muscle spasm, particularly in the piriformis and pressing the piriformis was really, really tender. Lo and behold, pressing there, where did the symptoms come? In the foot, right where she's getting the plantar fascia pain. So release it, plantar fascia pain reduces. So what this highlights is don't just think, ah, the pain is here, it's coming from here. Pain moves, pain travels. That can be from referred from a muscle, as I described there. It can be down a nerve, so a trap nerve type of scenario, like a disc prolapse or stenosis or something else. So yeah, so pain travels. So obviously next time when you have pain, don't just assume the problem is with that area. So if you're seeing a doctor, try to make sure that they think about that. If they're gonna send you for a scan, maybe they're gonna scan the wrong problem. Uh, same goes for seeing a physio who, who, or whoever else. Make sure that they're considering all the options because at the end of the day, if you miss it and no one else considers it, you'll end up going into the category of, ah, you just don't respond, you just gotta live with it, that's the end of that. And in truth, it might actually be a problem that is solvable as long as you're barking up the right tree. So that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.